day everyone and welcome to another core and mobility session with me Zali Bangisi from the Sports Science Institute of South Africa in Cape Town, Newlands. To our new viewers, I'd like to give you a warm welcome as you guys join us this afternoon for an exciting, exciting routine. So today's session will be focused on stretching and strengthening exercises to relieve low back pain or to reduce low back pain. So low back pain is a topic that we discussed a few weeks back in one of my Q&A sessions and we established that low back pain is one of, the, one of the highest reasons why an individual would visit their physician or any of their health professionals thereof. So if you do suffer from low back pain or it recently creeped up on you during this time in lockdown, then this session is just for you. So please do remember that if you do have any medical conditions or any injuries thereof, that you need to follow the instructions of your physician, your physio physiotherapist or your biochemist or anything um, before you do these exercises. And if you do feel pain in any of these exercises that we're going to be doing today, please make sure that you stop the exercise and rather follow on to the next exercise. All right. So without further ado, guys, same, same style. We just need your mat, your towel, your bottle and yourself. And we're going to start with our mobility session, right? So we're going to be standing, just shoulder width apart, so your feet are facing forward, right? And you want to go down, and as we open up the hips, okay, so our pelvis is a very important um, part of our bodies when dealing with low back pain. Because usually our pelvis area, our muscles get tight in that area, and so we need to focus on those too. Right, so we're going all the way down. You want to bring your elbows in between your knees as you're touching or holding onto your feet. So now I'm gonna be in this nice best stance. All you want to try and do is drop your bum into the stretch. If you can't go that low, that's fine. If your hips are too tight, that's also fine. So go as far as you can, but the idea is to drop your bum down as your elbows are in between your knees and you wanna gently just push your knees out as you hold into that position. And I'm going to gently rock from side to side just to get a little bit more stretch and a little bit more opening there. Right, now we're going to add a little bit of movement here. So you're just going to keep in that position and now you're going to extend and bend. So we're going to feel a nice stretch in our hamstrings. As we go up, keep your hands on your feet and all the way down, we're going to do 10 of these, okay, so keep your hands there, you're going to feel a nice stretch going up your hamstrings, and down, up and down, good, opening up the hips here, and warming up a little bit, two more, we're doing 10 of these, and your last one, and down, well done. Right, the second one I want you to go into a high plank position. So that's basically your hands out like this, feet out straight, remember your wrists are underneath your shoulders, and you make sure that you're not lazy in your back. So you want to push your hands out into the mat so that you get that nice flexion. So hands underneath my shoulders, and we're gonna go into that rotation. So you wanna bring your right foot to your right hand, and you wanna open up to the other side. So now I can really feel a nice stretch in my hip flexors, and I'm gonna open up, opening up the chest, and down, and we're gonna swap sides. Open up. We're doing 10 in total, so five each side. So you want that foot all the way to your hand and make sure that your hand is in the middle or inside your foot. So your foot goes on the outside as you twist. Last two. Drop your knees down, angle your big toes together. So bring your toes together, and that forces your knees out wide. 
You're going to go into that child's pose as you drop your bum down to your heels and you're going to stay in this child pose position. What you want to be feeling here is a very nice good flexion of the hips there. So basically your hips are going to be tucked in underneath you and just try opening up that lower back. And just breathe here, take deep breaths in your nose, out your mouth. And now we're going to move our hands over to the left hand side. So you want to keep your low body in the same direction, just moving your hands over. And then we feel the nice stretch going down the right side. And we come back to the middle and we're going to go over to the right hand side now. So move your hands as far as you can and you're going to feel a nice stretch going down your left. And come back all the way to the middle and you're going to go back into your quadruple position. So now we're back into that all fours. So your knees are underneath your hips, my wrists underneath my shoulders. And we're going to go into a cat stretch, okay? So you're going to be pushing out your hands, push your hands into the mat and bring your tailbone in as you curl. Hold that position for me for a moment. You want to feel that hollowing out of your stomach so that you can feel that activation as well. So we're starting to activate. And you can inhale and just go back to neutral, normal spine. And we're going to do that again. Exhale as you push your hands into the mat, bring your tailbone in, hold out your stomach. And inhale back to normal. We're going to do another three of those. Exhale, push. Inhale down. And it's also opening up your upper back as well. So you're not just focusing on that lower back, you're also opening up the upper back as well. And let's go. Inhale up and to your last one. Go as far as you can, tucking in that tailbone. And release. The last one we're going to do here, we're going to add a cat cow stretch or a child's pose whilst in a fury plank. So you're going to tuck the toes underneath you and we're going to lift our knees just two centimeters off the ground. And we're going to go backwards, rocking backwards as if we're going into our child's pose. But notice how my knees are still off the ground. So with this one, you want your knees elevated at all times, okay? So let's go back to that starting position. Lift your knees off the ground. Push back. Push your hands away from you. And come back to neutral. See, my knees are still off the ground. Keep your knees off. And let's go again. And back. And in. Hold on. Five more. Really push your hands away from you. Bring your bum as close to your heels as possible without dropping your knees. And we're two more. To your last one. And you can relax. Well done. Right, so now that we're a little bit warm, and we've got the mobility section out of the way. I hope you're feeling a little bit loose in the joints so that we can start our core strengthening. Right. So we're going to start on our backs. And we're going to start with the classic bridge. But today, as we progress in the weeks, I want to make it a little bit harder. So as you're sitting or lying on your back, rather, you want your toes pointing forward with your feet hip width apart, nice and gently. You're going to bring your hands down for the moment. Right, so we're going to do five curl ups and then five shoulder bridges. So the first five is when you are curling up. So tucking in your tailbone as you articulate through the spine to promote mobility. The second one is for strengthening more of the glutes. Right, so we're going to do five of those. So remember when you slide here, you want to drop your belly button down towards the mat. 
away from your shirt. Activate. Make sure that your ribs are closed and they're nice and strong. Right. So you're pushing through the heels as you're curling up. Notice how I curl my tailbone in and then I lift up and squeeze. Then I'm going to curl all the way from up, back down, nice and slowly to the bottom. And I'm going to do five of those like that. Right. Curl up. Perfect. Slowly back down. You really want to keep those abdominals nice and strong and the, the strength is coming from your glutes as well. And you're increasing that mobility in the spine as you're peeling off. Imagine you're peeling a sticker off the ground and the sticker is your back. And let's go again. Squeeze through the glutes. Push your heels into the ground. And gently back down. And we have one more here. Squeeze. Really use your glutes to lift. And lower. Slowly back down. Good. Now we're going to do shoulder bridges. So now we're not going to articulate like we did. We're just going to go straight up as we use our power in the glutes. So push your heels into the ground as you go up. One. Notice how it is a little bit faster than the curl ups. Two. Good. Squeeze. Three. That's it. Four. Five. Well done. Right, so next time when we do these, I want to challenge you guys and bring your hands up to the ceiling. And we're going to do those curl ups and those shoulder bridges, but with our hands up. So the more, the less contact you have with the ground, the harder it gets. But let's move on to the second exercise. Our second exercise is the windmills. So we've done this one before as well. You want to lift both legs up to tabletop position. Make sure that you're in a nice um, 90 degree position there with your legs. And also make sure that your back is as flat as you can get it on the mat or as comfortable as you can get it. Right, so with our windows, you can open up your hands a little bit wider than the mat so that you can have some space. So what you're gonna do here is you're gonna drop both knees down towards the ground. Notice how my hip lifts off the ground, but what you don't wanna do is lift your shoulder blade off the ground. So as soon as my shoulder goes off the ground, then I know I need to come back to the middle. Right, but let's add a twist. So you're gonna go down to the ground, that's how far I can go, and you're gonna extend your legs out before bringing back in and back to the middle. Right, so we're gonna try the other side. So drop, extend, back to the middle. I'm just gonna bring my knees together here so I can squeeze those knees together. And you're gonna try the other side. Drop, keep your shoulder blades and your shoulders on the ground. Make sure you're not pushing into your hands. Right, so using your obliques to bring those knees back in. Extend the leg. Back down and pull back in with your obliques. Good. Keep that activation there. And gently down. Extend. Back and down. Good. We're doing 10 in total. Five each side. You really want to do these nice and slowly. Make sure when you're coming back, you're pulling with your obliques. Good. I hope you follow it, guys. The extension makes it a little bit harder. So when you're in this position, that extension makes it harder. If you can't do the extension, just keep it bent and go back in. This is my last two. And back to the middle and down. Right, so the third one, we're gonna be lying on our side. So you want your elbow directly underneath your shoulder and you want to not dip into that shoulder, guys. So remember, with your side plank, you're not getting the strength from your shoulder. Yes, your shoulder does keep you up a little bit, but more than anything, you want your obliques to be working as hard as you can. So we want to keep the, the bottom leg bent and the top leg straight in that side plank position. What you're going to do is you're going to lift your hips off the ground, keep that elbow nice and strong. I'm going to lift my hand up to the ceiling and lift the top leg straight off the ground. And I'm gonna hold this position, but I'm gonna now move this leg up and down. So without touching the ground, you go up and slowly down. Two, we're doing 10 of these. Three, keep
Keep those hips up. Squeeze your obliques. Four. Five. Get a feed in that glute. Six. Seven. Draw in your stomach. Eight. Nine. And ten. Well done. And you're going to drop and go over to the other side. Right. Position yourself. Elbow directly underneath shoulder. Bottom leg bent, top leg straight, in a straight line. And I lift my hips off the ground. Hand up, lift the top leg off. And we're going down and up. One, two, three. Keep it up. Four, you feel those glutes working really hard. Five, six, seven, eight, good. Nine, and 10, drop it down, well done. Let's go straight back to our bridges. So remember guys, now with the second set, we're gonna be keeping our hands up towards the ceiling as we do these bridges. So we're still gonna do the five curl ups and the five shoulder ups, okay? But now we wanna keep our hands up facing the ceiling. Just to make it a little bit harder, right? So position yourself, neutral pelvis, neutral spine. Hands up to the ceiling, and we're gonna curl, peel yourself off the ground as you push your heels into the ground. Squeeze, and slowly lower. Right, this is very important, guys, when trying to deal with low back pain, as we tend to get muscle imbalances, right? So you really wanna work your pelvic area as much as you work your core. Okay, we've got two more here. Keep your hands up. Push to the heels. And slowly down, last one. Last curl up. And then we're gonna do a shoulder up, so more strength in the glutes, and way quicker than we're curling. And one, two, squeeze your glutes. Three, good, four, to your last one, squeeze five, and slowly lower down. Hands onto the mat, open up wider than your mat. Get ready for our windmills, right? Both legs up, make sure that your back is comfortable. 90 degrees in those legs. We're gonna drop over to the one side, keeping your shoulder and shoulder joint on the ground, knees out. Extend, bend, back in, pull your obliques, drop. And back in, good. Five each side, 10 in total. Pull with your obliques as you come back to the middle, guys. Try not to use momentum here. Go as slowly as you can to make sure you are doing it right. Good, now I'm starting to feel my obliques kicking in nicely. And we've got last two. And well done, bring your knees down. And we're gonna go to our side lying leg lifts. Okay, position yourself nicely. Elbows underneath my shoulder. Bottom leg bent, top leg straight, hand up to the ceiling. Make sure your body's straight and your hips are nicely stacked. And you lift up, use your obliques, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Lift up the top leg and let's go. One, two, three, four, five, nice, six, slowly, seven. Try not to go beyond your shoulder level, so not there. You want to just keep your hips stable. Eight, nine, 10, well done, switch over to the other side. Remember, if you're feeling pain in any of these exercises, please stop the exercise and rather follow us to the next one. Right, position yourself nicely, lift off, and up, leg out, and slowly down, one, 
two, three, four, five, you can feel that bum working really hard, six, seven, eight, nine, stay with me, ten, well done, good, and we're going to do the last set of this round, guys, go straight to our bridges, hands up to the ceiling, and five curl ups before we do the shoulder bridges. And curl your tuck your tailbone in, hold out that stomach. Peel, 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 peel. Up and squeeze. Coming from the top down. Peel yourself all the way back down. Really increasing the mobility in the spine. Training your back to be more mobile. Slow it down, good. Last two. Last one. Good. And we're going to do our shoulder bridges, five shoulder bridges. Now we're just using that power in our glutes as you push your heels into the ground. Let's go. Two. Three, four, and five. Down, well done. Hands wide open, legs up to tabletop position as we prepare for our windmills. Knees and ankles together to make it a little bit easier. And we go down, extend, bend, pull back in with your obliques. These are your obliques here. Down. And pull. Good. Keep that shoulder on the ground. Do not push your hands into the ground. Otherwise, you're using the wrong strength to keep up with the exercise. That's it. Down. Last two. To your last one on the side. And relax. Well done. It was not too bad. To our last exercise in this block, we're going to that side plank. Bottom leg bent, top leg straight, hips nicely stacked, elbow underneath my shoulder. Lift the hand out and lift. Squeeze the obliques. Lift the leg and let's count. Ten each side. One. Try not to touch the ground with that leg. Just hover it over. Three. Four. Keep that core engaged. Five. Six. Notice how my knee is just touching the ground there. Seven. Eight. Nine. And ten. Well done. Switch over to the other side. Right. Positioning. Hand up, lift off the ground, squeeze in those obliques, and lift the leg. And let's go. One, two, good. Keep it up, guys. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Well done. Oh, and I got a nice little crab there at the end. Alright guys, so you can quickly grab a sip of water as we're about to conclude our core session. Right, so if you're still with me, that's good. Let's go to our last two. So the last two, we're going to be timing them. I will time with you so that we can do it together. Our first exercise will be a plank and we're going to be translating forward and backwards. So nice and easy. We all know what a plank looks like, right? Make sure that your elbows are underneath your shoulders once again. Nicely positioned there, right? So you really want to basically moving forward and backwards. So starting in the plank position. And you literally just move your body forward and backwards. Notice how my feet are helping me move forward and backwards. So there and back. 
Okay, we're going to do that for 30 seconds. That is the first one. For the second one, we're going to go on to a quadra position. And we're going to do that Superman. So we've been progressing our Superman every week. And we're going to now go into the isometric hold. So we're going to start off, knees off the ground, extending a leg, extending the opposite arm over, and you hold that position as much as you can. Yes, it is hard, but you really want to try. If you can't do that, just drop that knee on the ground and just hold that normally there. All right, so we're going to start off with a plank, forward and backwards. And for 30 seconds, we're starting in the next three seconds. Get ready. Two, one, and let's move. You're just constantly moving forward and backwards in that plank position. Make sure you're not lazy in your back. Push those shoulder blades out and move forward and backwards. Really draw that belly button up. Away from your shirts. Three, two, one. Relax. Well done. And let's go to that isometric Superman hold. We're going to do 15 seconds each side. So you don't have to worry. Right, so we start off here in a fury plank. So you're just going to lift your knees off the ground. And then we'll extend opposite arm, opposite leg. And we hold as much as we can. Okay, guys. Stay with me. This is your last one. Push as hard as you can. Five seconds. Get ready. Two, one. Up you go, release. Now you really need to draw in here. Three, two, and one. Ooh, I got a nice shake there. Right, we're gonna go to the other side. Ready, three, two, one, lift. to you. If you didn't, don't worry, you can still progress to it. So remember, if you're not doing that knee lift off, you're just doing the normal knee on the ground, opposite arm, opposite leg hold. Right, let's go back to our plank, translations forward and backwards. 30 seconds, ready? 3, 2, 1, and let's go. Keep moving. I don't want to see bums sagging. No bums in the air. Keep your bum and your back in the same line. Three, two, one, and down. Well done. Let's go to our Superman hold. Alright. Are you ready? I'm not ready, but I'm going to do it anyway. Three, two, one, lift off. Leg out. Hold. Three, two, one, and release. I'm going to try the other side. Well done, guys. We've been building up and we've been strengthening as much as we can. Ready? Three, two, one, lift. Two, one, and 
and release. Well done. Let's smash the last one. So your shoulders and your upper body should be working as well at this point. But really, really want to squeeze in that core. So lift, belly button off your shirt, down up to your spine. Really, really strengthening there. Right, ready? Remember, you're lifting off that knee. Three, two, one, and lift. Opposite arm, opposite leg.